And if I want to explain to you why well-being is a good idea for us as individuals, I need to tell you a story about a patient of mine called John. And when I saw John a few years ago, he was at breaking point. He was burned out. He was emotionally bankrupt. Years of overwork, trying to be all things to all people, had taken their toll on him. He had sleep disturbance, symptoms of depression. His relationships were on a downward spiral. He couldn't take being a corporate exec executive anymore. And we spoke about his sense of burnout, his sense of loss, his constant feelings of futility and failure and frustration. And John needed treatment to escape those dark nights. He needed medication for a while, and that's okay. He also needed what I call talking treatment, counseling. Now, I want to put my hand up here and say I'm, I'm biased, okay? Because the way I see the world, I think we can all benefit from, from talking treatment. Everybody in this room at some stage in their lives has stuff going on that would be useful to talk to somebody about. Talking treatment can be great if you're feeling stressed or anxious or depressed, but it can also be good to help you wherever you are in your life. But that wasn't enough to get John back on track. You see, John had to learn how to write his own prescription for happiness, for inner fulfillment and contentment. And that's what I was able to do with John. I was able to work with him teach him the power of keeping a journal. Little notebook where he wrote down things that were important to him. He wrote down what he felt grateful for. He was able to reframe negative experiences through the lens of what I call realistic optimism, believing in the possibility that things can improve through the power of your own efforts. John learned to be kinder, not just to other people, but also to himself. He learned to value his relationships. He learned to work towards goals consistent with his values. He learned that exercise is the greatest pill of all, a brilliant way to de-stress, to bring on the biochemical cocktail of brilliance. John learned to embrace simplicity, spirituality, and to have the courage to choose happiness, fulfillment, and inner contentment. But here's the key idea. I could be John. You could be John. We could all be John. You see, happiness is not some optional extra to be added on when you've got all your boxes ticked. I believe it's at the very heart, the very essence of a life of fulfillment and vitality.